In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 trig ratios you need to know and how I derive them. I'm going to be setting up a table with five angle measures, 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. And you need to know the sine of those five angle measures and the cosine of those five angle measures. Here is how I memorize them. I draw myself a unit circle and I pick the point at zero degrees and I write myself two notes about that point. Say I know this point is one comma zero and I know that in the unit circle Cosine is the x value and sine is the y value. Now, Mr. Sajak taught me this trick that I'm just going to do sine for now. These ratios can be represented as all over 2. The numerators go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up by 1. And I want to make sure that I'm starting with zero and not going backwards from four. So what I look for is in my diagram, sine starts at zero. The sine of zero degrees is zero. So now I know the numerator start at zero and go up by one. Last thing is I take the square root of all these numerators. And now I simplify and I get the five main sign ratios you need to know. Square root of zero is zero, zero divided by two is zero. Square root of one is one, one half. Square root of two, it's not an easy number, so it's square root of two over two. Square root of three, again, I don't know that off the top of my head, so it's square root of three over two. Square root of four, is 2, 2 over 2 is 1. So on a test, if I ask you for the sine of 60 degrees, you should know that that is square root of 3 over 2. If I ask you for the sine of 30 degrees, you should know that's 1 half. You might need to draw this diagram. That is what I did as a student taking tests, is I drew this diagram, and this is how I quickly reference what things were. Now the cosine is very similar. You do begin all over 2. Now instead of going the numerators from 0 to 4, you go in the opposite direction. You go from 4 down to 0. And the way I double check this is I first write 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And I double check the, let me have the square roots. Okay. So as I'm simplifying this first one, square root of 4 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1. I check my diagram. Is the cosine of 0, 1? You can see the cosine of 0 degrees is 1, so I'm good. And then this is radical 3 over 2, radical 2 over 2, 1 half, and 0. And now I have the five cosine values you need to know. You need to know the cosine of 30 is radical 3 over 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is radical 2 over 2. Cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Okay, These are the 10 main ones in this diagram that you are expected just to know. For me, knowing meant having this picture, writing this picture. It might mean memorizing it to you. You just need to know them. Now, just like one step further, if you were, if I were to ask you for, say, the tangent, of theta, you need to know that the tangent of theta is the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. So you could take these values and divide them. For example, the tangent of zero degrees, well I take the sine of zero degrees, zero, and I divide that by the cosine of zero degrees, which is one, and I get a value of zero. Uh, let me do one more with square roots. So. Let me do the tangent of 60 degrees, for example, is the sine of 60 degrees, the square root of 3 over 2, divided by the cosine, which is 1 half. 
radical 3 over 2 divided by 1 half is the same as radical 3 over 2 times 2 over 1, which is radical 3. So the tangent of 60 degrees is radical 3. Okay. Again, what I boxed in green is what you need to know. You need to know those 10 values. I have shown you all the thoughts that are happening in my head, and you're going to see me draw this diagram a lot in the coming lessons as a reference guide for myself.